Okay, today we're playing a game on Nepal. The average SR of this game was 2048, and we will be playing Gongo the Bongo the entire way through. And our current team composition is Diva, Zarya, Gongo, Reaper, Mercy, and Zenyatta. So, it's pretty average. The thing that always concerns me with a team comp is when there's nothing on the team that can realistically kill a Phara, because Phara's pretty popular right now. And, uh, Zenyatta kinda can. Genji and Diva kinda can, but they're not really what you're looking for when you're talking about far counters, right? So that does always concern me a bit, but it's pretty average, so we're just gonna start the game. So we're on Sanctum to start with. We are a pretty short-range team. We're gonna go right, which is the more open path. There is a reason to go this way, and that is if your team is pretty short-range, because... Well, if your team is short range and has, like, not many diving heroes, right? Because if you're diving, you can just, like, jump across the entire map. It doesn't matter. If you're short range and relatively slow, it's usually better to go this way around. Because if you're short range, you kind of have to just march across the map at them, which is really hard. If you're walking at them from this way, you've got cover when you're approaching them. Because you can go, you know, you can go through the backside right here and pop out behind them. I mean, maybe they just pull the wool over your eyes and, like, go over here and just trade sides with you, but that would take a little bit more coordination than most teams. So if you come this way and you're short range, you can just kind of walk up on them a lot easier. Walking up this way is a lot harder. But uh, not necessarily much of an issue for us, because we do have, like, dive. Like, Z uh, Diva can just jet across. We can just dash in. Um, Zenyatta doesn't have to go in. So, but if you're short range team, there is a reason. There is a reason to go the other way, and it's if you're short range, basically. We so if they have a Reinhardt. This is a pretty good map to play Reinhardt on, as far as King of the Hill maps go, because damage tends to come at you from like one direction. A lot of the issue with King of the Hill maps for Reinhardt is that the fight tends to come at you from multiple angles, which Reinhardt isn't so good at dealing with. So uh, Zarya bubble does, but we didn't take any damage. Unfortunate for her. We are. Going pretty far in right now. We're trying to, like, poke at the Reinhardt, but, like, we're kind of right next to him when we're doing it. So, like, he can very easily just turn and hit us. And then we, like, messed up the dash and almost didn't get out. But we did get out. We're kind of, like, really bad at what we're doing right now. Because we're really bad at breaking a Reinhardt barrier. And it's kind of in the way. So, we're not a very good team for doing what we were trying to do right there. So, we've just lost Mercy. And we've lost Diva. We've lost this fight. Genji does have, like, you don't have to be touching the point right now, because Genji does actually have longer range. And generally, you don't want to be touching the point unless you have to, really. Because the point tends to be the scariest place to stand. That's why we have tanks. They can stand on the objective so we don't have to. We're a long-range hero as Genji, because, like, no uh, fall-off damage. Yeah, it's a projectile, but, like... You've got range as Genji. We'd already probably lost the fight because we lost Mercy and D.Va right at the start of the fight. So we don't want to really fully commit because we're down two people and they're two very important people. So we can just sit around the edge of the... Sorry for the cursor. We can just sit around the edge of the map instead and just like poke at them because we're probably going to lose the fight. We can at least poke at them and try to build up some ult charge, but we don't want to like commit to it and risk dying like we did right there. So they do also have a Moira. Um, if we can't get the opportunity, we would love to bounce some of those uh, orbs back at her. Fun fact, you can steal her healing orb as well. You can deflect the healing orb and run off with that. Which feels pretty good. It's like when you bounce Anna's grenade back in her own f in back in her face. It feels good. So, there's a fight happening on both sides of us right now. This side is like harder to go out of because you're kind of... They're, like, gonna be right there, right? And we can see there's a lot of people outside this doorway. We can go out the other side, and it's, like, a little bit easier for us as Genji geometry-wise. There's a health kit out there that we can fight around as well. And also, there's just, like, a lot of fucking people on this side of the doorway. We don't really want to go through, like, the heavy traffic area as Genji all that much. Because, eh, Genji's a flanker. So, fight actually didn't go all that badly, considering, like, we died right at the start of it. Is it going well? Well, no, not really. <clears throat> but, could it be going a lot worse? So, because we landed all three shurikens into Soldier, 
dashing on him right now should be, like, pretty secure to get the kill on him, because he's half health. Hopefully you hit the dash, though he's kind of, like, at max range, but then you can just, like, throw fan shurikens right into him, melee him, and probably finish him off. Like, you're full health, he's half dead. You can probably kill the boy, because you got all three shurikens in him, he's half dead. You can probably finish him off and get the reset at that point. Maybe you don't, but, like, you've got a pretty good chance of it, and, like, Genji's all about seizing opportunities, because he's a very, he's got a very opportunistic kit, because <clears throat> dashing resets on eliminations, so as soon as you have the chance of getting an elimination, you want to try and, like, go for it so you can reset your dash and chain it off, like, you can hopefully chain more kills off of the dash reset, but if nothing else, you can just leave off getting the reset on the dash. Genji's a very opportunistic boy. So we pulled out the blade, and we were going for Mercy. Uh, we could have got her. I'm guessing we were expecting her to fl fly over to this wall. Oh god, what happened to the quality? Why would you? Why would you ever even? Like you were doing just fine. Come on, come on, YouTube. You can do it. Internet's working right. Let me go over here and just give it a test refresh. Yep, seems fine. No, right, whatever you say, YouTube, that's fine. So, I'm guessing we were expecting her to go over this way, but, like, she's going into that doorway, which is the worst possible thing that she could have tried to do, but, like, we could have just, like, not dashed and killed her. All right, YouTube, that's cool, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Don't feel obligated to work or anything just because you have literal infinity dollars. Like, she does try to go in, like, the worst possible way she could have gone, but, like, we just, like, try to preempt her, and we end up not really doing very much with the Dragon Blade. Um, great job, YouTube. Fantastic. Um, just be more cool about it. Like, cut her once, see where she goes, and then dash after her if she dashes away. There's, uh, there's no need to, like, preempt it like that, because she's... Stars, like, she's not, she shouldn't go in the way that she was going, but she decided to start going that way, which, I mean, is her prerogative. So, YouTube, like, if you could be, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, so nice of you. So, Soldier killed himself on us, which is fantastic, feels good, man. But as soon as he dies, we gotta get out. Like, honestly, killing him, fucking divine providence, honestly. Like, he killed himself, which is fantastic news. We don't want to be here because we're at 43 health right now. No problem, we've got our dash. Go in the doorway, pick up the large health kit, come back out again, start fighting. Easy money. Uh, we don't want to keep fighting, because that can happen. Just very easy for something to, like, accidentally kill us at that point. We want to get out. Genji's very good. Oh, God, mercy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. That's very sad. Um, okay. No problem getting out as Genji, you can dash away. Don't be afraid to just use your dash to run away, because that's probably what it gets used for more than anything else, honestly. So, we've gotten control of the point, great news. Bad news, they're at 80%, so if they win a fight, they're gonna retake the point and probably win the round. We don't, we don't want that, obviously. Uh, we used a lot of ultimates as well to actually, like, make that happen, so the fear is now they come back with, like, any number of ultimates and we don't have enough to fight them off with. Uh, unfortunately, Farah doesn't kill herself on us, um, so, very scary. Tyra comes through us, dashes and up, we can't get away. Why did we dash? What did we dash for? Oh, we dashed up on the Farah. But she was, like, basically full health, right? Professional organization. Yeah, she's, like, basically full health at this point, and her whole team is in that room. So that's a very opt optimistic dash attempt. If you're dashing on someone full health, like, it's pretty hard to kill them. And if their whole team is, like, right there, it's even harder. So, should have perhaps played it a little bit more cautiously. Well, should have played it more cautiously there and, like, backed off, basically, rather than, like, keep going in. And then maybe we don't die to the tire. So, Soldier's using attack Visor right now. Uh, we're trying to kill him. Uh, he's killed both our supports, though. We're pretty fucked. Like, he, he killed both supports, and there's not really anything we can do about that unless we're just going to kill him very quickly. You can try and get up in Soldier's face and, like, defect deflect the attack visor. And if nothing else, like, eat some of the time up. But, like, not really much you can do about that unless you're just going to kill Soldier really quickly. So we lost the fight. Um, 
We had a Reinhardt as well, didn't we? Like, someone changed to Reinhardt, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What the fuck was Reinhardt up to? Any- whatever. He's like, low gold Reinhardt. He's bad. So, now we've got to take the point back pretty quickly, because they're at 90% right now. Reinhardt's managed to kill somebody. Great news. They've used a lot of ultimates. We're pretty close to having Dragon Blade. Um, we could probably have it now if we were, you know, aim better. Not very helpful advice, but we could uh, probably have it by now because we're pretty close. So we mess up the dash right here. There's just kind of no reason to use the dash right here, though, because, like, you're not going to reset it off anything because everybody's full health and Moira's using Coalescence right now. And you are already really close to this wall, so you can just walk up to it and climb up it instead of trying to dash to it. You mess up the dash, which is obviously bad as well, but, like, there was kind of just no reason to use the dash right there. Um, it didn't really end up mattering, but, you know, can very easily matter. So we didn't have deflect for the, uh, far right there. What did we use deflect for? Not really much of anything. We just kind of look at their team and start using deflect. Um, you do want to be, like, you're going to die regardless in this situation, but you want to be fairly deliberate with deflect. Which I don't really like when people walk in front of the team and just, like, kind of deflect randomly stuff back at them because it tends to amount to nothing. And deflect is one of those cooldowns that you, like, really need to fight somebody. More often than not, there's something, like, that you're trying to deflect specifically from the enemy team. Like, if you're fighting a soldier, you ideally want to hold your deflect so that you can try and parry his helix rocket back at him. Whereas most Genjis just kind of, like, push it and hope he uses helix rocket. Ideally, you would react to it and use deflect then. Yeah, it's The moral of the story is you want to be kind of deliberate with it. You don't want to just use it hoping you deflect something important, basically. It would not have mattered in that situation. Like, you're going to get up and get killed by Farah immediately, but... Um, can matter. So here's Soldier. Again, you know, exactly what I was talking about a second ago. Ideally, you would hold Deflect right there and then try to react to him firing the rockets. If you don't think you can react to it, let him, like, hit you a couple times. Because a Soldier is usually not going to shoot it at you full when you're full health. But if he hits you once or twice, he's probably going to use it right then. Um, that does not always work. But... Soldier players are pretty predictable. They're not, they hate shooting at, at people who are full health. Once they hit you, though, they're going to be like, oh, he's getting close to dying now. I'm going to throw it at him and try to hit him again. So here's Junkrat. Junkrat's all up behind us right now. So you can be, like, really brave in this situation because Genji Deflect doesn't have to be used just for you. And there are quite a few situations where getting in front of somebody with Deflect will be helpful. And if YouTube would be so fucking kind as to actually just fucking work. Okay, thank goodness. So, like, we, we see this coming, and we see Moira's all over here. Like, she's getting crept up upon. We call it out, that's great. You can dash up behind her and try to deflect stuff back at Junkrat. And, like, you know, the fear is you die, um, but... The fear is also Moira dies, so you can try and be really brave right there and get in his way and deflect the stuff back at him to try and shield Moira. Ends up not mattering, he fucks up killing Moira and we kill get, we kill him instead. So Mercy's really low, unfortunately we were reloading at that exact moment in time, so we actually had to like, wait for a second to dash in. It's good that we waited to actually finish reloading before we dashed in, because you don't want to dash in and then be like, oh fuck, have to reload. Because that's a really good way to get killed. Like, YouTube, though, seriously, you know? You have infinity dollars, it'd be really sick if just, like, going backwards on a part of the video you had already loaded and played seconds prior could just fucking work. So we were just like, yeah, just had to reload. Unfortunate timing, basically. Feels bad, man. Um, might not have killed her anyway. So, Moira's not gonna die in this situation. There's no point going for that Moira, because she's got her orb on her, and Mercy's now tethered to her. Our dash isn't off cooldown, so we don't have, like, the burst to finish her off. She might as well just immediately change. So, Soldier almost died right there. Because he, he actually hit himself again. Punch. Like, finish that boy off. He's almost dead. We give up on him to go for Mercy, and then we go back to Soldier, and then we're like, fuck, he's put the biotic field down, so we go back over to Mercy. We're really indecisive, and we end up getting neither kill. Soldier deflected his helix back into himself. He fucked up. Killed that boy, then go to get Mercy. 
yeah, Mercy's like a higher priority target, but the best thing you can, the highest priority target is always someone you can kill. Because just taking someone off the field is like really big because it's hard to win a fight with a numbers advantage. So even if like you see Mercy and somebody else stood next to each other, like Mercy is usually a higher priority. But if you can just kill the person standing next to the Mercy, kill them. Doesn't matter if they're less important, kill them. But you switch targets a bunch of times during that fight. You don't want to do that. You want to just like focus one target. And like, you re you gotta kind of like reassess as the fight's going on because sometimes you're killing somebody but you see an opportunity to kill somebody else so you would give up on that person to go kill them but like the opportunity there is like soldier just almost killed himself so finish him off instead um just like focus a person down because splitting your damage between two people is usually just gonna end up in you killing neither people so we've used dragon blade right now and they start, like, using, like, Coalescence starts getting used. We basically only end up killing Reinhardt, which is, you know, kind of sad, but Soldier was also using Tac Visor, so we ended up winning the fight anyway. We don't want to go after that lady because we're 50 health right now. So we get control of the point. Great. Um, did use Dragon Blade and Tac Visor, so, you know, the fear, again, is that kind of that they come in and with more ultimates than us and win the fight, but that's always the fear in Overwatch. And there's not really that much you can do to stop it, honestly. So, we get hit by Fire Strike. We, first off, we could have deflected that orb back into them. Deflecting Moira's orbs back into them is, like, really good. Because you deny Moira the ult charge, and you get the ult charge instead. And then, like, we get hit by Fire Strike as well. Really bad, end up getting killed because we just kind of took a bunch of damage. Now, we also, like, don't even really want to be there, to be fair, because, like, we're trying to fight the enemy team head-on. We're really bad at breaking barriers, but, and, like, fighting people front-line is not what Genji's good at. We got, like, a Winston here to back us up. We should just be, like, repositioning to try and, like, shoot at their backline instead. We can just go backwards out the other door. We can dash that way if we feel, like, really urgent about it. We'd be dashing away from the enemy team, so it's hard to get killed for that. But, like, we don't want to sit there, like, throwing shit into Reinhardt's shield. Genji's really bad about that. You're trying to get around the Reinhardt and shoot at the backline people instead. Even if you don't, like, even if it ends up not amounting to killing anybody, at least you're getting ult charge for it, right? Like, if you're shooting Reinhardt's shield, you're doing nothing. You're basically, you're not contributing much to breaking it as Genji, and you're not getting any ult charge out of it. If you just, like, reposition, throw around it, even if it doesn't end up amounting to a kill, you're poking them, you're building ult charge. It's better than shooting the shield at the front line, basically. So we kill the soldier right there, great. Unfortunately, Mercy's using Valkyrie right now. Really hard to kill Mercy using Valkyrie. So if you're gonna do the fan, right, the fan, the right click, the reason to do that is that you would burst somebody faster by doing it, right? Because you throw all three shurikens out at the same time. So you do more DPS if you get all of the shurikens to land. But if you can't get all of the shurikens to land, you're better off left-clicking them. Like, yeah, it's easy to, like, get a shuriken to land if you fan it at them, but that's not really the point. The point of using the fan is you get up in somebody's face and throw all three of them in their face, and you just do this big spike of damage. And then you can do it again and do this big spike of damage. This is why, ideally, you, like, poke them down from range with left-click, dash in, right-click, melee, and that does, like, a massive burst damage to them. Like, yeah, it's easy to hit them with the fan from range, but, like, it doesn't really, like, you know, fucking, I hate YouTube, but hitting them with, like, one shuriken from the fan doesn't really amount to anything. In that situation, it's okay, because Soldier's really low, so we just kind of want to finish him off, but, like, fight... During the fight here, we're, like, fanning at Zarya from far away, and, like, we're never really hitting her with more than one of them. Yeah, it's easy to hit her, but, like, you should just get better at hitting them with the left click from that range. The reason to use the right click is for the big burst of damage when you're point blank on them. Because then, all three of them at once, rather than tink, 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 right? And, like, yeah, it's harder to hit, tink, 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 especially from range, but just doing the fan doesn't really amount to much at range. It's for doing a big burst in melee. So, they're coming back in again. We basically, like, if we were poking a little more efficiently earlier, we could have Dragonblade right now, and, like, that 
holy shit, that's like free money right there. The two supports are right on top of each other, and like neither of them have... Okay, Mercy doesn't have her ultimate right now. Moira is Moira. She's got her ultimate. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time shooting Reinhardt Shield, which we're bad at. If we had been poking more efficiently earlier, we could have Dragon Blade right now for this team fight. And things would probably be going a lot better, because we were given, like, free reign right there, but we got Dragon Blade, like, right as the fight ended, but we were really close to having it. So if we were, like, a little more efficient earlier, we could have had Dragon Blade at the start of the fight, and then that fight would go a lot better than that, probably, because it ends up not going very well, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, this fight going pretty badly. We're coming back with Dragon Blade now. Um... Their Mercy is now using Mer Valkyrie. Our Mercy also used Valkyrie, but she ended up dying. So, it's okay. We've got time for one more fight. Our team are trying to stagger themselves really hard right now. So, you gotta just, like, go in now. You've just, like... You don't want to... I know you don't want to. But, like, honestly, you're just gonna have to, like, go in in this situation. And I'll tell you why. As soon as YouTube fucking does. So, we can see right, uh, Winston's in there using his ultimate right? Winston's gonna take forever to die. We're at 75% right now, and, like, they're fighting right now. What's gonna happen is they're gonna lose, like, they're almost certainly gonna lose this fight. Like, we're fighting uneven right now, but losing this fight is gonna take a long fucking time, honestly, and we don't have a long fucking time. Like, if they take, like, another 10 seconds to die, we're gonna have, like, 15% left to go. And we're going to be rushing in just to touch the point, basically. So, like, I know you don't want to, really, but as soon as you see Winston's in there on the point fighting with Primal Rage, you're basically just going to have to go in with Dragon Blade and try to make something happen. Because if you don't, you're probably just not going to get a better opportunity because your team are going to take a long time to die and you don't have time to regroup again. We decide to do that eventually, but by the time we decide to do it, our entire team is already dead. And lo and behold, it took them so long that we've got, like, 15% left to go. So we don't have time to regroup again. When you see Winston's in there using Primal Rage, you gotta just go. I know you don't want to go, but that is, at that point, that's gonna be the best opportunity you get during the game. Because you're gonna lose the fight. You not going in is just like, they are going to lose the fight, but it's going to take them a very long time to lose the fight. So you got to just go in and try to make something happen. Because even though it's not a good chance, it's better than no chance. And by we decided to go in eventually, but we just like waited a long time to do it. Uh, so we have... Uh, <laughs> so we have the text chat muted, and boy, I wonder why... Unmute it for half a second to say GG well played, and what do you get back? You useless retard. Fucking love Overwatch. Great game. We have a fantastic community. No one has ever in history been toxic, I think. Ever. Um, so, we ended up losing the game. Feels bad, man. There was not a question in the email, correct? I played mainly Orisa and a Soldier Diva before. Yeah, you're uh, I've dropped, yeah, you're gonna drop that much SR when you make a uh, character switch like that. Uh, no question though, specifically. Yeah, it's because of the toxicity I'm receiving in almost every game. Yeah, I don't even like. I don't even join voice chat. Like you join the voice chat. Fuck. Your oh God, no! I would never do such a thing. Jesus Christ, people in Overwatch. Oh no, disgusting. Um, my friend used to join voice chat, and then they, uh, they stopped, and they were like, I have so much, I have so much better of a time playing Overwatch now that I just don't join it, yeah? It's kind of that way. Anyway, so, no specific questions in the email. Oh, I have a new email. Oh, it's, okay, it's from that person. Mm -hmm. Look at that, let me, let's read an email live on air. Let's not do that. So, uh, no specific questions, though. So... I mean, there were a, f a few things that stood out during this game. What stood out the most? Alt Execution is really big for Genji, and I would say Alt Execution wasn't great, and it's very big for Genji, because Dragon Blade is one of the best ultimates in the game. Dragon Blade is better than Genji, right? So, that's very important. Other than that, we're, like, spend a lot of time shooting at front lines and try trying to do front line stuff. Genji's not very good at that. You're better off trying to circumnavigate the front line, usually. So, try not to just sit, like, Shooting at Reinhardt's shield, try and, like, get around the shield. 
So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful.